Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will teach you flipping board game from scratch. We will make this application in five simple steps. Step one: make your character jump. Step two: move the obstacles. Step three: stop the game. Step four: make more obstacles. Step five: keep score. We have to log on to scratch dot mit dot edu, then create new project. First, we will choose a sprite. We will choose cat flying. It is little big. We will reduce size and make it to thirty. And place it at center. We will go to events and take when green button click. Then I will go to motion. Then go to X and Y position. Change Y to zero. Then we will take whatever condition inside that if. Else condition. Then we will go to sensing. We will take space key if pressed. Then we will go to motions. So if space key is pressed, we want to change Y by ten. Also, we will change the costume cat flying B from looks. And then we will go to motion. Else change y by minus five again. Add costume cat like a from looks. Our fluffy cat is ready. You can choose obstacles or you can upload your save. Image as obstacles. Here I have backpack of obstacles. Remove existing codes. Then go to motion. Go to X and Y position. Then take glide position. Just enter X coordinates two hundred and minus two hundred. Now enter y coordinates minus thirteen in both. Then go to events, keep into for a loop, and the put when green flag. This is moving fast. We will increase time to it will move little slow. Go to control. We will take stop all. Then make the bus wait until. Then go to sensing. Touching mouse pointer. Change it to cat line. Then go to events. Then put when green flag click. Now. When bar touch to cat, it will stop. Right click on obstacle, then duplicate. Click flag. We cannot see the second bar stop. They have to exact same code. So they are gliding same time. Go to control. We will add wait one second above forever. This looks good, but first bar is sitting in the middle, so we will hide it. 
then show it from looks. To show score, we will create variable. First, go to variable, make a variable, give name score, change my variable to score, place in forever loop. Now, to reset back score to zero, change variable name score. And place a book forever. Our game is ready. Let's play. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.